It is Sunday. It's 7 p.m. here in the Netherlands. It's stream time. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to this nice stream this evening. Well, I hope it's going to be a nice stream, but we'll have to find out. Good evening, Roadhog, Kevin, Hiradev, Donny Danger, and all others that will either come watching this evening or watch this later. A very warm welcome to all of you. I hope we can have a great stream. And to get started with that, we have to start up the game. So here we go. Let's load up a brand new game. Now, I was thinking we could do the beginner mode, which has a story to it and stuff. But it gets kind of boring in the beginning. Or we just do the free play and have fun. So we're going to do the free play. Now, um, I'll let you people think of a, a village name. And I'll be the one making the banner. So I'm going to edit the banner and you go... Guys and girls can come up with a banner. Don't tell me it has to be a fish or something like that. I hope that's not going to be the case. Now, I like green. But I think green and stuff don't go too well. Oh, this could go well. This is nice too. Ah, we'll see. Let's see what types of things we have. We might not like to get a nice fish though for Hiradev. Maybe that will make her happy. Feel all welcome and fuzzy. Well, they might have these animals in uh, in Canada too, so that could be nice. Good evening, Manuela. Nice of you to join us. That's great. I hope all is well. All right. I think um, we could make this a slightly smaller so that it fits. There we are. Perfect. And let's go back. We now have the banner. Sorry, little cough there. Uh, green and yellow is nice, I know, but we've already done that before, so um, I thought we'd change it up a little bit. Uh, oh, wow, I just hit back. I wasn't expecting it to go completely back. I was just wanted to go out of the uh, banner modification. I guess I have to hit this back and not the other one. All right, what map are we going? We're not going to do the tutorial. We'll have disasters. The valley map is big. It has normal resources and distances are far. Okay, Green Bay... Map size big, resources normal, and the distance is near. We have the White Rivers. Map size is big again, map resources are low. Okay, and the distance is far. We have the mountains, that sounds nice. Very big map, resources are normal, and the distance is near. We have the Alone Island, very big, low and far. All right, the volcano, extra challenge, an active volcano. Whoopsie. Very big, resources are low, distance is near. And then we're back to small land. Well, maybe the volcano is a bit too much for me, but I guess I like mountains. That will be fun. I don't think I ever played on the mountains map, so that could be interesting. Pink flowers. No, we're not going to do pink flowers. I think we need... Uh, we could use this. Oh, I guess Pink Flowers will be the name of... Uh... I don't think I've seen this game. Oh, it's a nice game, Donny. Uh, I guess you're not watching my videos because I do have a Land of the Vikings uh, series running now. Um, at episode 6, I believe. I think the mountain map can be, can be good. Uh, but we want Pink Flowers, somebody said. So let's see what Kevin wants with this Pink Flowers. I don't really see any flowers. Nah, it's not going to be flowers. Nah, what should we do? Yeah, I think I like this animal. It gives kind of the feel of the uh, Canadian. So let's make them feel warm and welcome. We could use our town pink flower. Name our town pink flowers if we want to. I guess that was what Kevin suggested. So our town name will be pink flowers. <laughs> Where have I been? Uh, probably working. All right, we have the town of Pink Flowers. We have a nice map with some deer that can eat the pink flowers, I guess. I really like the skull with horns. Oh boy, there we're going to go again. The skull with horns. Well, we have this one and this one. I guess you like this one most, maybe? This one doesn't look so friendly, though. I mean, with those teeth. But hey, we're Vikings. I guess we're not supposed to be friendly. Maybe I just need to step out of that little comfort zone of friendliness. Let's make it a bit smaller so that it actually fits. Yeah, all right. Well, I 
guess this is it then. Let's start the game so at least we can have some fun in-game. That would be nice too. But uh, yeah, Donny, it's a very nice game. I sh you should find a link to the Steam shop in the description of this uh, stream. And uh, you can have a lot of fun with it. In the beginning, it's mainly building up your village and making sure that you grow and unlock stuff. But later on, it gets even more interesting because you can do all these different things and get raiding and stuff like that without actually fighting, which is something I really love. All right, I'm going to tell my vis villagers to get some goods. And then we can take a little look around, see what we can do. We do need a wood chopper though. And a good one. Maybe just two. Let's start off with that. We'll immediately change the limit to 150. And now let's look around. Let's see the map so I can unpause. They can start to gather some goods. That will be nice. All right. So we have a little river here. Don't know if we can get across it somewhere. Don't. Oh, maybe here. Maybe there. That could. No, I don't think so. Oh, that'll be tough. So we have a whole part of the land that we can't actually use. Uh, use. Oh, well. So we're building on here. Then here we have a lot more land. Oh, that's interesting. We have quite a good big patch of soil that we can use. We can go up in the mountain. Here we can do a lot of mining. And up there too. Stones there. Oh, perfect. All right. This looks really interesting. Let's get going with it. What's the problem here? Work halted. Oh, we should open it up. That might probably help. So what are we starting with? Well, pretty easy. We have... Basically no resources, so we have to start getting stuff. We have 200 coins, 3 gold, no food. And we start with 21 people, 80 happiness and some fame. And if we take a look at our villagers, we'll see that we have basically 3 families that exist of a certain amount of people. Now we also have 3 houses, so we can just click a house. Here we have the Giermundsen family with a bunch of grown up kids and a smaller one. Here we have another family. And here we have another family. So I guess that's what we start with. And probably the best thing to go now is make sure that we get some food and stuff. Now for that we'll have to start thinking which way we are going to expand. And I think we're going to use all of this land for some nice uh, stuff like um, building houses and stuff. So I guess if we build the gatherer a bit further away like right there that might help. We'll also build a hunting lodge here then. Oh, that's only 40%. Why is that so low? I want to find an area where that number is way higher than just 40%, 50%, 90 Oh, this is a good spot apparently. Oh, this also seems to be a nice spot. So we'll build the hunter right here. It can go hunt. Let's unpause. Then we also need to store some of our goods. Quite a few goods can be stored next to the Jarl's house or the long house. So that's fine for now. But from there on we'll have to see which way we want to go. Now I don't like the position of this house actually. I mean this is nice. We can make a starting road right here. But um, I don't know. I think I want to make something of a square here. Another thing we need to get is a storage, basically a marketplace where we can store the food that we acquire. That's also the place where people will come and buy those goods. So making that across the Jarl's house might be a nice place to get it. We'll leave some space around it so that we can make certain upgrades there. Let's get to um, our job screen. We have 16 people that can actually work out of the 21. So let's assign a few builders. All the others will do all the labor jobs. That should be good. And uh, yeah, this, this game has nice graphics. It's, it's a very fun game. Now, luckily, we have quite a few resources close by. So that will help our village out immensely. We're going to speed up a bit now. I'm not going to spend too much coins on the roads now because we have to start making coins first. And for that we need to make food. And I'm really hopeful that they can build these pretty quickly. Maybe we should uh, prioritize either the gatherer or the uh, hunter. But oh, they're already busy with the gatherer. No, they're not. Let's prioritize this building. They should bring in everything quickly. So that we can get going with um, 
making some food. They probably should have quite a bit of food in their houses. 10 food, 10 food. Okay, so they are good for a little bit. But we need to start bringing in some food. All right. Oh, they're already getting the planks out that we are producing now. So we produce a good amount of planks. Problem is we're not producing any firewood yet. So that should be next up too. To make sure that we uh, can supply the whole village with some firewood. Now it's nice to have both wood productions close to each other. I'm going to leave some space in between. Because then in between we can build the wood storage. And with that wood storage, if they store some actual wood in here... Oh, it's colliding with a tree here. Let's get rid of it. That should do the trick. If we have a wood storage in here... That will be excellent. So that they can store all wood there. Nice. Alright, they're bringing in some logs. We're going to build some stuff. Are they building the gathering huts? Almost. Some planks. Interested. Well, I like this mountain map, I have to say. Nice big mountains on the background and uh, plenty of building land so far. Only thing is that all the iron and coal are... Well, they're not too far out, but also not really close. I guess that's a bit of a, a mixture there. We have the... Uh, log storage up now so as soon as they get more logs they can store them in there we have the gathering hut up now let's get some workers in there because we need to start acquiring some food they'll have to walk a bit to get there but that should be fine especially now in the beginning we don't need to get that much food in straight away i see we're all talking about cowboy clothing now so i'm not gonna get myself into that because I don't know anything about it. We do have Tree of Life points though. Which uh, is basically our uh, research that we can do. So let's go to Settled Life. We can start to make some fields at some point. We can also make our villagers work faster. And happier. Oh that's easy. That's the way to make them more happy. Alright we have three points left. A mine, a stone pit and a stone cutter. Let's get that. Alright that should help us out. In the beginning now to get some extra goods out. We have the marketplace up and running now. Let's get one worker in there. One is good enough for now. So this is where you store all your food. Um, there's no food in there of course. But we'll be storing our food in there as soon as the um, gathering hut starts to gather some stuff. And hopefully the hunter will be up soon and starts to make some nice hunting. Appears we are out of logs already again, so let's get a few extra logs then. There's plenty of logs around and the trees will regrow at some point anyway, so we can get enough of that. Kind of really hoping that we can make a nice amount of logs soon. I do see people chopping here though. They're quite busy with it, so let's hope they don't do too much shopping. Ah, we have four meals now. So we have four food stored somewhere. They should be bringing it in here. Oh, it's five actually. That's good. So more and more people will now start bringing food here. And then hopefully we start making some coins. You make coins by just selling stuff in the market. Which is nice and easy. And it should be very helpful for things like roads. Because roads will cost us money. Like three silver right now. So if we can get some of this up, that will be great. Also, the firewood shopper is now by, is now nearly ready, which is uh, this one. Let's set the firewood up to like 250 because we need a lot of firewood. We don't have to assign anybody here. As long as we make sure that we have not reached the limit, people will go there if they are free anyway. So that's a good thing. We don't have to uh, attend that all the time. That will be very nice. All I know about cowboys is they hang out their sailors, cops, Indians, construction workers. <laughs> well, let's get a few extra houses going. And we're going to make these nice houses this time. And I'm actually kind of hoping that once we've built one, 
it will remain empty for a bit so we can destroy one of these houses because I don't like this house in that spot right there. I want to get it gone. But uh, we'll have to see how we can do that. And I want this building done. Ah, they're bringing in the timber now that we need. And we have enough timber. That's good. So then we have the hunter too. We already have 14 meals of stored food. That's good. We're getting some firewood in now. So basically the basics that we need are starting to take shape. So that's nice. Just have to uh, start expanding this little town soon. Can you put it on hold? I can put everything on hold, yes. So I can um, basically tell this guy to, uh, if it reached the limit, or just put it at zero so nothing will work. But yeah, these I can open and close. And if I close it, it won't work. I can also get the people out, of course, that it's also not working. So uh, yeah, you can do that. But um, in most cases, you don't really want to do that. You don't want to put things on hold. But yeah, we can even put the building on hold. If we just pause it, we hit the pause button, then they won't build it. And of course, we can prioritize it. Now the hunter is ready. Let's get two people in there hunting. One with the lucky trade. And one with the uh, strong trade. And they should be doing some nice hunting. We still don't have any excess amount of logs. Which is important. But you can already see how fast trees grow back. Because we've just chopped all trees north of the longhouse and already they're coming back so we can just keep going with that we are down to eight laborers though so we need to keep in mind that we can't expand indefinitely uh, because then we will run out of people now the good thing is every now and then people might join our settlement we'll get a message for it i mean after the house is built like ostriv uh no i can't just tell a family to get out of there then that's not the case so i can't uh, tell them to not occupy them, I believe. But we can find that out once this house is done. They're going to build this one now, so that's good. It's good to note that the builders are also the ones carrying the goods to a house. So if you want your stuff to be built quickly, make sure you have multiple builders so they can bring in all the goods and then build the house. Alright, here it comes. Let's see what happens. Maybe if we just pause the game, it, it might work. But we'll see. We have somebody, nothing great health. That's not good. Yeah, these immediately moved in. And they will now start to uh, live there. So that's not good. But we have an issue. We have somebody in not the best health. And for that, we need a herbalist. So that the sick can be healed. Now, I guess the herbalist should go... On some nice spots. Maybe here. Yeah, still some space to the river. And it could be... This could kind of be the center of town. Around the uh, marketplace here. So if we build it right here. We could basically just build a road here in the middle. Connect it to that. But also build a road around here. I'm not going to completely do that yet. Uh, but in the end we might do that. And one of the things I love a lot about this game. Is that you can freely move the camera. Unlike in some other games where you can't really do that. Alright, just some stones and the first stage is done. Then we'll have the foundations. And from there on, yep, the next step. But we don't have the logs yet. We do have the timber, so that should be fine. And this house is now done. They're also family moved in. So basically there's two ways of growing our village. We can just make sure that we have kids. So these can now start to have kids. Or we get immigrants. And those are the easiest way to uh, to make us big. No mercy, they're Vikings. <laughs> yeah, well, especially in the beginning, when you start with three houses, with quite a bit of adults there already, as soon as you build a house, they will move out and move into the new house. What does happen, though, if we get people in that don't have a house and you build a new house, they will get priority. All right, here we have a message. There is a mysterious plant... We discovered a new plant unlike anything we've ever seen before. We went and showed it to the seer and he said that he had not seen this plant for a long time and that it was a very healing plant. Shall our healer add these herbs to his concoctions? All right, what can we do? Trust the seer's knowledge and add it to the healing mixtures. Patients can recover faster, but the plant can also have the opposite effect. Or 
We don't know about the plant, don't use it. Option one or option two, it's up to chat because that gives me some time to drink my hot cocoa. All right, it's Donny Danger for the one, Kevin for the one. Do they get married and occupy a house sometimes? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. All right, everybody's up for option one, I guess. So let's trust this seer and see if it helps. We don't really have a seer yet because we're just building the herbalist right now, but we'll see. So yeah, every time you build a house, there is a chance that two people get in there. You can immediately see by this icon that they are married. So to live in a house, you need two married people. Uh, somebody on its own won't occupy a house. So, um, that's uh, that's a thing. So, it, it's very easy. Basically, a bit like in Ostrif. So, as soon as there's space and they want to get married, they will. Alright, let's get somebody that is smart in here. That will take care of all the sick. Now, the good thing is, and we can take a look at it in the resources tab. We should have a few herbs already. Yes, we have 11 herbs. Because that's what the gatherer gathers for us. So we get these herbs from the gatherer and that will help out make sure that the sick get healed. Could well be that somebody died by the way, yeah. Kjeld Svensson died of his illness. Somebody gave birth, two kids became adults so they can now be used in the workforce, that's a good thing. But yeah, there's, there's all these natural things happening so people uh, get grow up, people die, people give birth, that's all happening in this game. Which is good, I mean that's what's supposed to be happening. We can go down a bit on the builders because we don't need that many right now. I just want to build up a stockpile of goods with uh, the logs and stuff so that we have plenty for the future. Our objective right now is to reach 40 villagers. Well, that might take some time, but we'll get it in the end. I'm sure of that. We're also making the first silver coins now, so that is good. And I think we should now start to think about how to expand our town at some point. And I think a way to expand our town is to make sure that we uh, build little blocks of houses with roads in between. So that they can actually travel those and get to different spots. We have food for 33 meals. That's nice. Um... I want to try it this way. So let's build three houses here from this side on. Like this. Then another one. From right here. And another one. If it fits. I don't think it does. No. So we'll build these two houses. Then we'll destroy this one. And hopefully that'll move them to another house. Because then we have some more space up here. For a road and for some other nice buildings that we need. One of the other buildings that we actually do need is the warehouse to store all different types of goods that are basically not food. I would like to get it somewhere here. I'll show you later why. So um, we'll have to wait until one of these houses is almost done. And I think if we destroy a house just before this one is ready, we might just force that family to be homeless for a few minutes and then get into the new house. I'm actually willing to try that, because that would be awesome if that works. I guess they don't have a big stockpile of boats to burn. Uh, we should have a few boats. Yeah, there's a few boats here. Um, these are fishing boats that we're going to use later on if we build a fishing dock. We're not there yet, but later on we might just build it and then we can use those boats for it. I don't know what this square actually is, but um, it's fine. Right, we can store a total of 150 food in there, so that's good. That should be plenty for the village for now in the beginning. We'll see about later on. Now, we still have only two logs, but we should not go blindly on that number because it could well be that while chopping these trees, they left a few logs laying around that they still have to bring in. And see, once they do that, they, you see the logs laying around. And uh, it could be... That they just need to bring in a few more logs. But uh, it doesn't really feel that way. Oh, we can really see the trees grow. That's good. 
Let's keep bringing in extra logs because I want to have a big stockpile. Ah, they're building this house. You missed the part about Viking funerals. Oh yeah, I totally did. Sorry, I have to focus on the game sometimes. <laughs> I'll be popping out soon for dinner. That's fine, Donnie. What are you having for dinner? All right, this house is nearly done. I think we should now stop and destroy this house. Hopefully that won't kill those people. Yeah, they're all the shit. They should just make them homeless, I think. And then they should soon be able to get into this house. Yeah, now we see them popping up as homeless. Unfortunate for them, but hey, who cares? And then they can just pop in this house. Does it work? Yes, it worked. Great. That's precisely what I wanted. All right, now we can build a warehouse here. Uh, one that we uh, need big time, but I'm going to change the view a bit so I can see whether it's actually connected with a road. It is perfect. All right, so let's build it here. Then this could be the area where the road is. And hopefully we can then fit another poor house in here. Yes, we can. Perfect. All right. So that works. We get two extra houses soon. We get a storage. Do a max zoom in to show Donny how detailed the graphics are. All right. Here we are. This is the max detail. Here you see the road. You'll see people passing by. I'll slow it down a bit so you can see how they move. Here we have the long house. I'm going to zoom out slightly so you can see it a bit better. But here you can see all the different details on the house. Here's a normal house. These are the small houses with all the decorations and stuff. Um, here we have the uh, houses that we have recently built. Here you can see flowers growing and stuff like that. Pork chops. Nice. Well, you enjoy your dinner then. So yeah, this is a pretty detailed game. You can even see our little icon here. I don't think they hang up this sorts um, the correct way, but... Um, there's our logo on it. They're building this now. You can actually see that because of the rain, this is all turning wet. There's water in there. Uh, that's all because of the rain. So that's how detailed this game is. And it's a really cool game. They're working on it right now. And I like it that they actually hammer at a point where there is something to hammer. Not just out in the air. And uh, now they're building this here. I love the animal skull. Yeah, there's two here. That's nice. So yeah, this is a pretty detailed and very nice looking game. And we have 28 logs to spare now. I like it. Let's keep that up. 53 meals. So I like the fact that this game is balanced in a way that with one herb, but one um, gatherer and one hunter, you can actually provide good food for your village. In some games, of course, you have to get um, like um, a farm for almost every house that you build. In this game, you don't. So that's really nice. Where's Euphoria when you need her? <laughs> well, if you checked out in the Discord, I have created the joke in where uh, Euphoria is the bartender or the joke tender. And uh, she can tell all her jokes there too. <laughs> Alright, we have somebody that's homeless. That's probably somebody that got married. So there's another person homeless and they want to get into a new house. Luckily, we are already building that house. So that is good. But uh, there you can see that sometimes people even get married without they, them having a new house. And you just have to provide it to them. It's some short notice, I guess. Well, they really want a house, I guess. So let's build a few extra. Just to make sure that we have decent village growth as well. Because growing this village is instrumental in making sure that we actually survive in this game. So let's do that. Uh, we can see happiness is okay, but it's not too good, not too bad. One of the things that will make people happy if you connect their house to a road. So that's what I'm trying to do now. Connect their houses to a road because it will make them happy. Uh, another thing that will make them happy is to provide them with some decorations and stuff. And one, for instance, is a big pillar. 
So we have a little torch for each house. I like that, so I'm going to place a few torches. And in night time, you will see them actually uh, burning so that they light the whole area here and the people can see where they are walking. Which I think is a great addition. So I really enjoyed it. There it comes. There comes the night time. And look at those nice lights. It will give a much nicer look to this town. Alright, let's connect all of this by road. Now we have to make sure that we don't use all the coins, of course. That's probably not the smartest one, but... Uh <laughs> a house is a nice wedding gift. Well, don't tempt me to get married again, so you have to give me a house. But um, I just realized there's not really a building grid. Yeah, there's no building grid. That's true. How long before you get military Patmos? Well... If we want to get to military, we have to unlock our way up into the um, tree here. Um, with this um, little thing, so we go up this way. And then we can go up this way to unlock the training camp and the hero's house. Then we can start to get military. Then we have to proceed to this little icon here that will provide us with a warship. Then we can actually start to go on exploration missions and raiding. So... Uh, how long until you get there? Well, it takes some time. Um, so that is... it. It. I mean, we have to grow our town quite big. But it all depends on how quickly we can grow our town. Which we have some influence over. Making sure that we have enough food. That we have enough houses available and stuff. So it's a bit... Um, can't really say or put a date on it or something like that. But yeah, there's options to, to get it done. And I hope we can get it done. Yeah, you can also do nice curvy roads if you want to. Like this one here, a nice curve in it. But you know me, I'm all for straight roads, so that's probably my thing. But um, Alright, two builders, eight people gathering stuff. I think we can add two builders to that to make sure that we uh, get as much out of it as we can. I also think that we should be getting a few extra logs out. Because we're down to 20. And we might need to start thinking about farming soon. To provide a bit of extra food for when our village grows. However, farming is a bit tricky. Because we need a lot of infrastructure for it. Like a windmill and stuff like that. Another thing is having animals. And I'm all for having animals. So, let's put some work into that. What I want to do is clear out this area. And once it's cleared, we're going to put some animal pastures here if we can. That will be nice. <laughs> we gave you ant watch time, lol. You buy it. <laughs> this is going to be another game you want to get. Yeah, you want to get all games here at F. That's interesting. By the time you buy all the games that you want, you won't have time to play them all. <laughs> Alright, we need eight more logs just for this building. That's quite a lot. And there's a lot of logs laying around now, so... Well, at least I keep my villagers busy. There's a lot of stones laying around here too that no, don't really have a place to go. So I guess building a stone storage might also be nice. I think I'm going to add it right here next to the wood storage. Because at some point we will also be making the uh, stone cutter. And with the stone cutter we can cut stones into cut stone. And that will be important for progress. So if we build the uh, stone cutter somewhere here maybe. We might actually be able to get a lot of cut stone soon. Yeah I'm going to do that. I have to stop myself from buying games. <laughs> well... My bank account does that for me. I don't have to stop myself. It just says no money. And then I can't buy it. So that's pretty easy. Alright, the warehouse is ready. I'm just going to put in one villager. Because we don't want to put in too many. But it can gather some... Things like leather and stuff. And also the herbs from the uh, gatherer. And that will make it so that the uh, 
Herbalist can use it, so that's nice. Fall winter is pretty long here. <laughs> I still haven't tried patrol. <laughs> Well, there's so many games to try out. All right, what do we have here? Winter is coming. A harsh winter is coming. Harvest your fields. Prepare the clothes. Last until the summer. Okay, well, we're going to try to last. That should be okay. And the mission still is to get up to 40 villagers. What we get for that is 50 coins, 1 gold and 250 fame. And for those who don't know yet, you need to increase your amount of fame to unlock new tree of life points. So the more fame we have, the more points we get. So that could be pretty interesting to get at some point. We're not there yet, but uh, that could be nice. All right, I do see though that we have created some space here for some animal pastures. So I'm going to pause the game for a second if we can, yes. So that we can actually try and build a pasture here. Uh, we need both actually. So both goats and the... Um, big animals called cattle so let's make this as large as possible but apparently there's a problem if we make it this large in this little spot so let's move it over slightly see if that happens and that fixes it there might just be something laying around or a new tree growing or something like that um, I think we can go all the way up here or we just can't build it that big or the terrain is not good I'm not sure hmm that's funny does not say why. What if we build it a bit lower? Can we then do... Yeah, now we can do the maximum size. All right, let's get a cattle ranch. And next to it, we'll build a goat ranch. I'll tell you why we're doing it in this uh, order right soon. Yeah, I actually want to... Uh, To move it a bit because there's too much space in between but we could also use that for a road maybe that might be good all right so there we go let's speed up so as you can see already here there is already a cow walking around so as soon as we built this uh, cattle ranch the cows that are close which are usually two or three will come to your cow ranch and they will start to live there and reproduce same with the goats that's why we're starting with these two they can then Acquire the animals that live in the area. They can then start to reproduce. And as soon as you hit full capacity, you will really start to make some stuff. So that's why we're going to do that that way. All right, let's see. Newcomers are arrive, will arrive in your village. Newcomers were seen coming towards the village. Their village was attacked by looters. Several families, including children, were able to escape. Since they could not bring any of their belongings with them, they had to leave everything behind. At the end of the day-long journey, they reached your village. You need a place to stay. They need a place to stay and food. They want to join your village. If we let them join, we earn fame, which is good. But it might lead to new events. That's interesting. Or we don't accept them and we lose fame. I'll leave it up to chat. Option one, we accept them. Option two, we don't. So I can have a drink. You threw a kilogram of sausages on the grill. Why did you bother getting sausages then? Why did you not, not just put a piglet on there? That's easier. Option one, option one, option one. Hey, Nivash, nice of you to join us. How are you? All right, I guess um, votes going towards option one. And I think that is the nicest option as well. Yeah, another one. We're going to go for one. There we are. Let's keep going. Otherwise, we're just waiting for too long. There's nobody sick anymore. I like that. That's a good thing. Um, Let's see. All jobs still fulfilled that we have. Yes, they are. Porridge for me. A great breakfast for a cold night. <laughs> oh, you have to work tonight again, huh? I guess a kilo isn't that much if it's all you're eating. Well, if it's all you're eating, it's still a lot, I guess. I mean, a whole kilo of that food. Wow. I'm not a big fan of sausages anyway, but uh, eating a kilo of meat. Boy, boy, boy. 
All right, so happiness is okay. We should see that in winter time when things get cold and since we don't have the warm clothing for them, more and more people will start to get a little bit less happy. As soon as we get to a point where we can actually produce clothing, things should go better again. So, um, or when the winter is over, that will also help out too. All right, let's speed up a bit more. We now have a stone cutter. Which means that we have somebody that can cut stone for us. Let's open it so it can work. And I think we can actually put two workers in here now. Now we had a new family joining. And usually that poses a few problems. Because they need a house to live in. But apparently... Yeah, here they are. We had a free house. So that new family is living in there now. That's nice. Because that solves a lot of issues. We don't have to worry about now. Still good on the stone. We could use those extra logs. And how many free people do we have? Nine. And we have four builders. Okay. Okay. So that's okay. Here we get the uh, goat ranch. Let's put people in there that are both strong and fast. Oh, this one is okay. Strong and fast. You need to get a combination, I guess. And uh, this should probably be the best combination. This one. All right, there we go. So I have a question. Is everything still working for everybody? Because right here, I was seeing the uh, little ring of doom going around and around and around. So I hope everything is still working for everybody. So how are you, Nifash? I hope all is well. And thanks to everybody watching. I hope you enjoy Feel free to mingle in chat or just to watch on the background. That's totally fine. If you want to, you can ask anything about the game or about anything else. And of course, if you do enjoy this, please hit that like button. That's a big help for me and for the channel. Thanks so much in advance. All right, let's get two people in here too. They should now be able to... Uh... Ah, we can see already there's two goats in here now. There should be a third incoming. And there's the third... It needs to find the entrance, but then it's fine. There's two cows in here now. They can start to reproduce, so that's good. No flaws there. All right, I'm happy to hear that. I was already getting scared that something would happen again and we have to switch out or whatever. Ah, we got the mission done. We have 40 people now. We have a new of yet. Oh, <laughs> that's interesting. We have reached 40 villages, so now we have to double it up to 80. I know there's different missions, though, after this, so that's nice. We'll just have to wait and get to that point, I guess. We have 120 food. I like it. <laughs> goats. All right. So what do goats produce? They produce meat. They produce leather and wool. So that's nice that we can really use later on. And the cows only produce meat and leather at some point. There can be 20 in there with both of them. Oh, we can also see a chicken here, by the way, because we can also get a chicken coo. Uh, I was not going to do that too early because, of course, we need to have people free for other jobs as well. But the thing with the food is you really need to make sure that you get them in time in order to uh, have, that, have the time to have them reproduce so that you get... Um, plenty of uh, animals that actually really produce something. Right now, if we want to start making outfits with leather, we're not really getting any new leather in. So that's not the good thing. So we need to get this... Uh... No, we don't get milk from it, but drinks is not really in the game. Um, we can get a well if we want to. And it's water for the fields. That's all it does. So uh, yeah, there's no real like you have to give everybody drinks and stuff. So yeah, there's no milk in this game. Maybe that's something for later that could well be, but uh, who knows. Alright, we can see that this one is now collecting the herbs. And now the uh, herbalist also has the herbs. So now he can really start healing people, which is nice. Let's keep it up that way. We got a few coins from the uh, mission. So let's attach a few other buildings to this. And I want to do something else. We are now at 100 food. It will drop a little bit because of the winter. So the uh, gatherer won't do that much. But the hunter should still be working. And soon enough we get food from this too. 
So what I would like to do is expand the storage space of my market. And I can already hear people thinking, how can you expand the storage space of your market? Well, there's no way we can upgrade this, so that ain't gonna work. But what we can do is use decorations for it. So if we go to these little box icons, uh, we can see that this will increase the storage space of some buildings. And if we try to build it, we can see this, the buildings that will be affected by it. So right now, we can store 150 in here and we can store 200 in the warehouse. If we just build one of these, we can see what adds to it. 150 and 200. This goes up. We'll have to wait a bit for it to take effect. But then we should see it. 206 now and 155. So it actually adds storage space. And you can basically build an indefinite number on top of each other. I'm not going to do that. But you could do that if you want to. Uh, but I guess it is good to um, just build some of this to get some increased storage space. And you can even make differences like um, this is the one with four. Now we built the one with three in front of it. So that's how it looks. We can build a few boxes here that stand around. You can actually see that the snow also goes on the boxes. Let's put a small box in front there. Let's get a bucket here next to it. And that way you can make it look nicer. That's the one thing. But the nice thing is as well that we now have 210 storage space instead of the 150 we had. And this had 200 and now 280. So this will really help you out in the village by making sure that you can store a lot more goods. In the meantime, because we have some extra population in our town and we've got a few new buildings, our fame went up and we now have four points for the Tree of Life. If we want to get to the shipyard, we need four points for that. So let's explore this. Let's get to the shipyard. From there on, we can go to the tailor and the blacksmith. These are all the main researchers. And we can do the other ones later on. But we could now build a shipyard and get building on some fishing boats and stuff like that, which could be very nice. All right, we still have 50 logs. That's a decent amount for a little town like us. Oh, 40 logs, I have to say. We have got the planks that we need. We have the stones. We have the cut stone. So basically, we're not doing that bad. Could always go better, of course, but we're not doing that bad so far. I just like the fact that we have a little uh, production corner out here. Where we have production facilities. And I was thinking. That with those production facilities right here. We could do another living quarters out here somewhere. Uh, let's do this. And then let's build a few extra houses. We're going to need them. If we want to get the village growth. And get up to the uh, 80 people for the mission that we have right now. So why not build... I don't know, three extra houses to start with. See what that does and how far along it will get us. Probably a few new people will get married. Or if we get new people in town, they immediately have a house to live. I know there's a site mission on that if you get newcomers in and you don't provide them with a house quick enough, people will start complaining about them because they just don't have a house and they'll just build tents everywhere and stuff like that. So making sure that you have the houses in place is a good way to um, prevent any unnice things from happening. So that's nice. In my town, I leave every now and then a tree standing. It makes not that flat. Yeah, but I'm not a tree hugger like you, so I'll just take down the trees. I don't care about trees standing anywhere. I just want the wood. They'll regrow every anyway. But uh, yeah, in the end, I think I want to go for some nice uh, decorations and stuff in town. I think that will be nice, so... Uh, Probably have to build a few trophies for Herodev since she likes the skulls so much. Is that their football team? <laughs> Alright, well we can see them making all these tracks in the snow. That's pretty nice. And we have a growing number of animals. We have five kettle now five goats too and already up to seven chickens so they do reproduce <laughs> uh, 
I don't know where Euphoria is, but she'll probably come in at some point or another stream. 116 food. Did we produce anything already? No. See, they don't really produce anything until we get up to the right number. So building these animal pastures early is a good thing. Just to get things going. They are bringing the resources here. Ah, we have newcomers arriving. So it's up to you people. Can they join option one or not option two? I'll read the message in the meantime. Newcomers have been seen coming towards the village. The village was attacked by looters. Several families, including children, were able to escape. Since they could not bring any of their belongings with them, they had to leave everything behind. At the end of the day-long journey, they reached your village. They need a place to stay and food. They want to join your village. Kevin says, be nice, let them join. Rodok says, they cannot join. Well, we can use anybody, basically, but um, apparently the Rodok doesn't want to grow a thing. If you joke to me about hockey, I might get it. <laughs> same thing. One and two and same thing. Well, that's not a lot of options. Where did everybody go? All right, well, I guess they can join because there's two votes for option one and only one for option two and nobody else seems to be weighing in. So let's go for option one. And if others want to weigh in, that's fine. Next time, just be a bit quicker. We can see that there's a few people in there now that are homeless. So we need to build those houses. Oh, wait, we're building a house already. How smart are we? So they can join quickly. That will be really nice. Now we have seven laborers instead of only the four or three that we had. So that's a nice thing. The house is almost ready. Let's get it done. No, it's not a matter of they can work. They will have to work. There's no choice. Join my village and work. Otherwise, leave. You're only welcome if you contribute. <laughs> well, Donnie's eating, that's true. And I guess uh, wifey might be busy with uh, putting little one to bed or doing something else. But I guess she left the stream on to, to uh, watch with one eye. But probably not responding, so that's fine. So yeah, it's all fine, no problem. I'm happy with everybody who's here and watching. So this is another area of town then. It's starting to take shape. We are up to 53 people. Now we can see the happiness is now down because it feels cold apparently in winter. How weird. So yeah, they have uh, not the best time right now. But as soon as we are able to get winter clothing for them, they'll be more happy with it. <laughs> I require more of the caffeine beverage. Well, you enjoy your Red Bull. <laughs> Talking about a caffeine beverage. <laughs> Don't think that was what you're talking about, but uh... all right, let's build a road here too, and then we can build another housing quarters here. Then let's see, we could go for a ah, our villager died here, so we need another smart person to be the healer. Apparently, the healer couldn't heal himself. There we go. I guess the next step could be going to the sea, building a fishing hut and a shipyard. Now we can already start with the fishing hut because it will bring in fish and we have three fishing boats laying there. So let's build that one. But I also want to get the shipyard. Ah, oh, it requires quite a lot of goods, but we can deal with that. So move it over a bit. And we'll place it right there. And then uh, this should be nice. This should be nice. Up to... Oh, we're pretty stable now at 107 meals. So once winter is over, the gatherer will start to kick in gear again. And hopefully we get some stuff from this. Seven goats. Now 11 um, chickens. So they should be... Uh, they're halfway through to getting to maximum. That's nice. 150. I think we should get this up to 250. We need a lot more planks soon. Same with this one. We're going to need a lot of these resources, so getting extra will be good. We also need a lot of firewood. And our town is growing pretty quickly, so uh, getting some extra will be very nice. At some point we might even have to get an extra um, firewood chopper. To make sure that we really do get enough firewood. 
How is this coming along? Oh, they brought in much of the stuff that they need. Same here. We'll see how that goes. Seven likes now. Thank you all so much. That is really nice and highly appreciated. Love you all. So what are your plans for this week? What are you going to do? Roadhog, Kevin and Hiradev and anybody else. But um, at least those are chatting right now. I have two days of work ahead of me with the uh, funeral business. So that'll be that. I don't have any work scheduled yet after that. So hopefully I'll have a few quiet days for that. So that I can spend some more time on the channel. But uh, we'll have to see. I really love the way the devs keep working on this game. Yeah, that's true. And they really made improvements to the whole combat system. It just takes a bit of time for us to get there. But we will. We will get there. Alright, here the first stage is done. They're now collecting all the main materials that we also have. So we can build the uh, thing here. Let's add a few builders that might speed things up. This almost also has the uh, main goods. So that's nice. Not going to build anything else. We do have an empty house now. That is excellent. I'm kind of hoping that we get a new family soon. So that they can join this empty house. Then we don't have to build a new house for them. That will be nice. And oh yeah. They're already bringing the logs here. One more batch of stone incoming. Yep there we are. This is also going to be the main building soon now. Yeah, perfect, perfect. It would be really nice if we could get some fish in too for the food variety as well. Mission is still the same. If we take a look at our resources. We already have some leather. We actually got a bit of wool too. That's going to be needed in the future. I guess we need to get to high quality clothing and winter clothing soon. And I'm wondering... If we take a look at the Tree of Life, if we want to get to the Tailor and the Blacksmith, Tailor will be making us the clothing and this will make us tools and weapons. We need to get up to five more Tree of Life points. So we have to get some fame, but that will be a good thing. With their clothing, we can keep them all very happy. Work then off Tuesday. Take mother-in-law to the hospital with her hip. Then in work rest of the week. All right. Well, at least you know what you're up for, Kevin. <laughs> Only a month to go. I had high hopes for this game, so I'm not disappointed. Well, that's good. That's good. I have a good message here. Spring is coming. As the snow melted, Mother Earth threw off her cover and began to breathe once again. The birds were dancing in the air, nesting among the newly bloomed flowers of the trees. Undoubtedly, spring has come to our lands once more. All right, springs are at the corner and we have a new family arriving. Uh, I'm just going to let them join. I'm not going to ask this time because we need the people and they could just go into this house, which is nice. We have 11 people available to us now, which will result in me getting an extra marketeer and an extra warehouse worker so that they can be moving around quickly to get us all the stuff that we need now so far i don't see the extra workers but at some point we should see them popping in have some meetings on tuesday and thursday nothing wild well that all depends of course yeah there's two workers in here now that's good should be one more incoming here at some point depends on what the meetings are about but uh yeah there's the extra worker that's good so that's supplied now the fishing docks. Ah, they're building the fishing hut now. That's excellent. And all the rest of the resources will be brought here at some point. Then we can build the shipyard too. Alright, we have the fishing hut. Now we can assign ships to it. And we can see there's three fishing boats laying in the harbor. So let's assign those. That will also open up more options to put in more people. We need people that are both lucky and smart. Let's get a few people in here that actually use the boats. How many people do we keep having available? Seven. Oh, that's fine. We can just add another one to it. 
Lucky and smart. Yeah, this is good. All right, four people going fishing now. That should really bring in extra food. Hope your night with wifey went well. <laughs> well. We had a good night. Let's keep it at that. And then everybody can make of that what they want with their own type of mind. All right, we're down to six laborers and four builders. Let's get down to two builders and build a few extra houses already. I want to keep the growth going. And now that we have only houses that are filled with people, let's build a few extra so that we can have even more. I'm also thinking of doing a little bit uh, different housing soon. So um, different shaped housing. But I think for the village center, having some structure to it really works well for me. All right, there we go. And yeah, this is all good. All resources are good. We even have logs to spare. We have 20 chickens now, so we should see some chicken meat incoming at some point. Nine out of the 20 goats and seven out of the 20 cattle. So here you can really see the example of how long it can take for these to reach the maximum numbers. It takes quite long, so building these early on is helpful later in the game because if you start with this later in the game you still have to wait until it's completely filled up so get those early and then by the time you really need them to start providing you with food and stuff um, they will actually be doing that all right lots of trees here let's take them down there's lots of logs laying around as well that they can still bring in i guess the uh, storage no it's empty all right not complaining about that then have you, you haven't hit any tomb burial sites yet. No, that's true. But um, usually um, once I think, oh, I haven't hit them yet, they pop up. So uh, let's hope they don't. But uh, you can never be too sure. All right. So we got all of this. So this is good. We have the storages that we need. We don't have any uh, weed or granaries yet. So because we don't have any uh, fields yet. We're going to get into that at some point. We have the carpenter, the woodshed, and the stone cutter. We don't have a mine yet, or a windmill, or whatever. So that's something for later. We're building this now. We can't do any military buildings. So we have most of the buildings we can actually have. This is just some cut stone, and they can build the shipyard. That's nice. I always wondered, though, because the uh, whole shipyard is... Uh, seemingly a fully wooden building but they also need cut stone for it so i don't know where they're going to put that actually but um well probably at the base or something like that good evening 21 Rausch. how are you i hope all is well how is this compared to farthest frontier Ooh, interesting question it is different most definitely but uh i guess i like them both actually in father's front you really have the um like interactive combat and stuff so you have to steer your troops and um and all of that that's a little bit less in here although you do get options text wise to how to fight and stuff like that uh, i do like the city building in here a lot and this is a little less focused on survival in terms of food and it's a bit more like you actually build a little settlement and have to take care of your people in terms of providing them with clothing and stuff like that. So it has its differences. Um, I, I actually like them both because they both have their fun perks. Um, but it, it kind of also depends a bit on what type of game you like, I guess. Uh, but yeah, this is this for me is a very fun one. It's not that hard in terms of survival but it, it has other issues like progressing through the tree of life can be hard because you have to earn those fame points all the time but uh, let's see what we can do now by the way villages work two percent faster let's get that it, it's it's interesting i think 
although they are both in the same range of building and survival games, they do it a bit differently and that's what I like. And of course, this is not a grid builder. <laughs> what are your thoughts on that, uh, Rausch? Welcome back, Donny, and welcome back, Heradev. Nice to see you both again. That's nice. Hope you had a nice dinner. All right, these are fishing now. They still need some cut stone in here. Oh, 80 out of 100. Oh, that goes fast. And they've built a house already. Oh, so my building crew is doing a good job. Let's get a few extra so that we get it done quickly. We have to check every now and then if people die. Because we don't get a message about them dying. And it could well be that we lose a hunter because of death. And then we have to add one again. Um, so you have to check that every now and then. Um, it's not that hard, of course. You have to do it every now and then. But that's it. And that's really good. All right, we're not up to the limits yet, but we can see that we still have an increasing amount of food, so that's good. We're having a nice load of cut stone there. I like that. Up to 11 goats now, and 9 big cows. I was going to say little cows, but they're not that little. Still 20 chickens, so we have some white meat now. Because when chickens become of age, they'll get killed. We really need to build this house though and finish this. I guess they're really invested in building the houses now first and then the uh, shipyard, but that's okay. We don't need that shipyard straight away. 65 people now though, so we're getting close to the 80 that we need for this little mission to be done. What do we get from this mission? 100 coins and 250 fame. That's nice. That is a good amount that we can use and hopefully get a few of those... Nice tree of life points. That will be helpful. Yeah, things are running okay. It's not that bad, actually. We're busy for it an hour. We already started with only 21 people, so we tripled our population. Things are running. We are surviving. How long before you can download your stream? What do you mean by that, uh, Donny? How long before I can download my stream? Why would I download my stream? Well, I guess there's an ad incoming, so we'll see if the answer comes or not. <laughs> After it's finished, um, uh, I honestly don't know. I think you can do that pretty instantly if you want to. Um, I'll answer it, but we have new incomers. It's always the same message, but we can have new incomers. Can they join or not? Option one, they can. Option two, they can't. Just let me know. Um, and I'll answer Donny's question at the same time, so you have time to, uh, to tell me what to do. Um... Well, I uh, stream using OBS, of course. I guess you know that. I also do my recordings with that. And every time I stream, it um, it also um, records it. So once I'm done here, I immediately have the recording of this stream on my computer. But because I stream this directly to YouTube, of course, it's also placed on YouTube. So I don't have to do anything with that. Um, and when I... Um, make these little videos i simply put don't put the stream on i just do the recording then i edit it and then i upload it to youtube but i don't have to download my streams or anything like that to edit them i also don't edit them uh, sometimes i take out the like the little five minutes before the stream where you only see the stream starting screen but that you can do in the youtube editor online that's fine um, but i always have everything on so right now as I'm streaming this, it is also recording this stream for me with OBS on my computer. And then at the end, when I stop, I immediately have it on my computer. So I hope that answered it. Option one, option two, option one, option one. Man, a lot of villages are getting attacked. Well, it is the Viking Age, so I guess... 
I guess it's pretty accurate. I believe in the beginning Vikings were known to attack each other a lot and then decided at some point to not attack each other a lot but just go around and attack, attack the whole world a lot. And uh, that's probably uh, what happened there. Up to 69 people. Oh, there was just one small family that came in this time. But at least we have them in. We have a free house as well. That's good. We have the shipyard ready. Let's get some people in there too. Smart ones and fast ones. Well, this one is okay. We'll put in two people, I think. And then we can repair a ship. But there's no ship to be repaired because none of them is in bad condition. We can, however, build an extra fishing boat. So let's do that. So that we have the maximum of four boats for this little place. I think that'll be nice. Yeah, you checked that, Tony. I don't know if... Um, if, if it's only for PC that you can do that, maybe I don't know if you can also do that like when you do on with PlayStation or whatever, or Xbox or whatever you're using. I don't know how that works. But uh, for me, I just have a screen. I, I can just set it up to also uh, put the recording up. Um, I can basically check a box when streaming that says if I want to record it as well, and then it also records. So all the time, and I can also turn it off if I want to, then it doesn't record. Just depends on what you want. Hopefully not our village anytime soon. No, no, no. We won't get raided anytime soon. Uh, we might get raided at some point, but that will take a bit of time, which is good. Happiness is now 74 because for some people a relative died recently. That will make them unhappy, but they're no longer cold and stuff. So that's good. That means that um, that won't cause any unhappiness. Let's provide them all with a road because it really does make them more happy. We can also get some decorations soon. That will also make them more inclined to be happy. Ah, we have roads here already. Let's start off by building a few torches again. So that we uh, provide them with some light. So I don't know if there's any Vikings that are scared of the dark. But now they don't have to be anymore. Let's build a few torches here too. Now here we have the exclamation mark, which means that this building is completely filled up. We are up to 200 food. So a good thing could be to just build a few of those extra decorations again. So that we have some extra storage space up. Uh, not too many though, because we don't have that many coins at this point. So we should be a bit careful with it. But uh, this should save some extra space. So hopefully we can have some extra food again. Hey wifey. I know it did when I was using OBS. But I'm not sure I have that set up for Streamlabs. Oh, are you, oh you are streaming via Streamlabs I guess. then, Because I'm streaming directly onto YouTube. Onto my channel. So um, if you if you use OBS, you can log in on your YouTube with your OBS and then you can directly stream to YouTube. That's what I'm doing. So that's why it's also put up on my YouTube straight away. All right, we have a baby in here. We have a young kid in there. That's nice. Another baby, another baby. Oh, there's some adults living there together. Talking about roads making people happy. One day I would like my own river so I can play with streaming water all day. <laughs> Alright. Well, you live in the Netherlands. I think there's plenty of rivers where you can play all day. But um, I guess a real wife wants everything for herself and for her alone. So she wants her own stream. Oh, there's a lot of logs laying around. What's this? Ooh, seafaring immigrant. I've never had this before. This is cool. One of the migrants told us that he had been a sailor before coming here. That he had spent a lot of time at sea. And that if we wanted, he could give us a lot of information about the sea and the villages, villages in exchange for silver. If the sailor is telling the truth, we can find out about other villages. And it cost us 250 silver, which we don't have. That's why that option is turned off. Don't listen to the sailor and turn him away. Well, he looks <laughs> kind of interesting. And I'm quite scared of what I see here. Since we don't have soldiers. But we don't have the money to pay him, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would have tried that. So we will have to send him away. Let's just hope he won't go on a rampage... Oh, 
Well, you know what I mean. Not like a real wife wants everything for herself, like everything. But, I mean, there's a river running straight through our town. But that's not good enough. You want your own river in your backyard. That's the thing. Yeah, true. You can also do it with the AMD video card. I also have software for that apparently on my computer, but I've never used it. So I'm not going to do that right now. But uh, yeah, there's different ways to do that. Oh, earthquake. Uh-oh. This ain't good. I'm going to add another fishing boat here, by the way. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, there's a building collapsing. Uh-oh, uh-oh. And I hear another building collect. Yeah, there's another one. Uh-oh. Oh, this is a long earthquake, by the way. Oh my, I can't even click this because I'm too scared to misclick. Ah, it seems to be going away. Interesting thing is, during these events, we can't do anything. So we can't speed up and stuff like that. You just have to sit it out. The Tree of Life, Yggdrasil, is shaking. The gods must be angry with us. Who made them angry? Some buildings collapsed, people died and became crippled. Well, it's always nice if you die and become crippled. But uh, we'll see. What should we do? Should we sacrifice four animals to the gods? Villagers will be happy with it. We'll sacrifice two cows and two goats. We might get a blessing from the gods. That's interesting. And villagers will work 20% slower since they will be renovating buildings. Oh, that's fine. We could donate 100 silver. The villagers will be happy and that's it. And we'll definitely get no blessing. We can ask other villagers for help. But there are no other villagers. So we can't do that. And we'll lose fame. Or we do nothing. The villagers will be unhappy. And will also work 20% slower. Since they will be renovating buildings. So option 3 is not an option. So we can do option 1, 2 and 4. I think option 4 is also not an option. We could just sacrifice these um, animals. That should be fine. 100 silver, that's basically all the silver we have. So that's quite hard to do sound effects. No, I'm not going to do sound effects. <laughs> Hope the tavern doesn't fall down. Well, we don't have a tavern yet. All right, option three, option one, option four, and another one for option one. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with one. That's the majority vote right now. Oh, now it goes to one and four. Villages will be unhappy. And oh boy. Are you trying to make me have a not so nice village, huh? Are animals worth more than 100 coins? No, because the coins are hard to get and the animals will reproduce themselves anyway. So I don't care about the animals. It's a split vote now between 1 and 4. So I guess Hirodev can have the decisive vote. If she decides to vote, of course. It's either we have to sacrifice animals or we're just going to do nothing and make everybody unhappy. And she's going to go for unhappy. Okay, well, that's the majority vote, so we'll do that. So we'll lose a bit of happiness. I don't have a house. Yeah, that's your problem. Build one. You're a Viking. Go raid a house. All right, let's speed things up. See if we can do repairs here. Well, it's clear this time it's no more fun gaming uh, with uh, the chat. Chat's going very serious this time. Trying to wreck my whole town. All right, we're going to wait and firstly just rebuild the houses. And from then on, I'm going to build a few extra houses that we might really use. We are up to 72 people, though, so we're getting close to the 80 for the missions. That's nice. I already voted. Well, your vote came in late then because it says four here, set four here quite late. But maybe that's because it had to come all the way from Canada, of course. That could be a thing. Who knows? I don't like animal sacrifice. It would probably do nothing. <laughs> well, you could just give them 100 silver. But uh, good to know. It's always nice to know that which people you have to help when there's an earthquake and which you don't. <laughs> well, you're in control. You don't have to listen to us. Of course I do. If I say that Chet has the final say in things, then I have to listen to it, don't I? I mean, I'm not a politician. I have to do what I say. I could be behind what happens sometimes. Oh, did you shake my screen? So we had the earthquake, I guess. 
All right, some of the houses got rebuilt. This is the last one. That's very good. I hope they can all still live in it. Sometimes you end up with still homeless people because they won't be living in it all. But uh, yeah, let's build a few extra houses. One. See, we have two homeless people. They got married in the same time. All right, let's see. Three houses. Thanks for laughing at my demise. <laughs> that was fun. I'm not getting mad at you. I did what you asked me to do. And I'm just pointing out that it's clear now how Chet wants me to run this game. You all want me to, to go make it go bad. Well, that's fine. I'm just pointing out the facts, not, not judging or anything. I'm just happy with all the input I get. So that's nice. And it makes for interesting gameplay. I mean, I'm usually one for all the safe... Uh, safe bets and stuff and now I actually have to take some gambles so that's nice that's nice I like it <laughs> well depends if goat stands for grossest of all times then you can totally have it but um Otherwise, no. Oh, we're building new houses. These two people now have a nice place to live. Somebody's really tired though, so she needs to get some rest. Another house, another married couple. Just have to get six extra kids in and we can have the next mission done. That would be nice. Be right back, wifey. All right, we'll see you soon again. I'm not voting anymore. False arms and makes hum face. <laughs> ah, now we know how to shut up here at F. That's good to know. <laughs> well, we'll leave the voting to Poppy then. Poppy, 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 Poppy. Come, 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 come. You vote now. All right, our storage is not completely filled up. We do get some nice wool and leather now, though, so that will be very useful later on. I guess we just need to get this mission over and see what the next mission will be. And we need to get more stuff done in the Tree of Life. We could also get some extra people in the warehouse in the market so that they can keep gathering resources. That would be very nice. Occasionally, there have been occasions in games where you have ignored our advice. That's true, that's true. Sometimes I do. And sometimes I don't. That's to keep things interesting, of course. <laughs> oh, well, we'll see. I guess it's time to start a bit of farming soon. That will be nice. Although the autumn is starting now, so we're not going to produce anything on the farm anytime soon. So it could also be a thing to just get a mine or a stone pit. Now, if we get a mine, we can get a mine here. Which is probably coal. Or this is coal. This is iron then I guess. Here we can get a stone pit. To get a good amount of stone all the time. But we could also just chop stone everywhere. There's plenty of stone laying around. This is actually a map with a lot of resources on it. Which is very useful. Another thing I want to do though. Is expand our storage capacity a bit so we have good storage already for wood and stone but I don't think it's enough so let's build an extra wood and stone storage so that we can store even more that would be good she looked at me and started wagging her tail <laughs> that's good that's good <laughs> Oh, that's fun. I like that. All right, let's expand our decorations here a bit more. We'll do it in this little area so that both the uh, warehouse and the other one benefit from it. It's a bit cheating to place them all on each other, but now we can get it up to like 300 or something. So that's good. This is up to 400 now. So it just shows the riches of our town. That's cool. 
And uh, all houses are occupied. Oh, that's great. 78 people. Two more to go. There we are. Already have two more Tree of Life points. And we get extra fame. We get more points. We can get up to the Blacksmith and the Tailor. And those are people we really need. Especially now that winter is coming for some warm clothing. And we have 17 goats out of the 20 and 14 cows out of the 20. So we're getting very close to the point where we have everything. Here we have a hungry person, but we have plenty of food, so don't worry about it. And how are we doing with the firewood? We're up to 500 now. That's perfect. That's precisely the number that we wanted. And we have increased our village population. New objective. Increase it again. What's this? Up to 160. I've already had different missions, not just these. Alright, well, we got five Tree of Life points. So let's unlock the um, Tailor and Blacksmith. And let's get going with that. This also brings us close to the training camp and the hero house. Well, we could actually achieve uh, getting those up early this time. Alright, let's start off with a Tailor. <laughs> Let's make sure we get this tailor and make sure that we get this tailor swift. That will be good. Then we can really get some clothing production going. Food has been stolen from the market. The villagers have noticed that the food at the market has been running low for days now. However, they aren't sure why it has decreased. Some people have seen someone stealing food from the marketplace tonight. What is the next step? All right, option one, assemble a team of villagers and find the thief. We might find the thief, but we lose a bit of silver. We can increase the village security. We get fame and we have a new objective. I know the new objective that will be to build a guard tower. We can't do that. So basically we can't finish this mission then because there will be a time limit on it. And we can't do it in the limited time. Or we can do nothing and the villagers will be unhappy. Option one, two or three. It's up to chat. I'll have a little bit of a drink. Ah, Kevin is playing it nice. Option one. <clears throat> Donnie wants to see the village go um, basically like his gameplay in Hell That Loose. So option three. <laughs> option one for Hiradev. <laughs> there we go. Well, let's assemble a team and find the thief. <laughs> Don't take my first answer. I already did, but that's fine. That's fine. We'll get it done. All right, here we go with the tailor. Now, I already know that in the end, we're going to need two tailors. So let's just build another one too, because we just need to produce a lot of stuff. Or we should fit it in here, so it may look a bit different. That could be interesting. Wait until this tree is removed, and then we build the tailor here, and build a little road here, like a little back alley. That could be interesting. You should be able to do one and two then. Yeah, but it's not, it's not, we're not able to. I guess those are thing they, things they need to still work on in this game. That if they want to give you a certain mission, it should be able to. And uh, we can't do it yet. So that's, that's a little bit of pity, but uh, oh, we'll deal with it. All right. Before we set up the production in the um, tailor. Oh, we can put the people in there. That's no problem, but... In here we can see that we can produce winter clothing, high quality clothing, fabric, armor and heavy armor. Um, now if you produce all in one building that's not very efficient. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell this one to focus on winter clothing and high quality clothing. This will help get the village ready for the next winter. Although that's already around the corner because it's already autumn. But this one will be making all the normal clothing that we need. And then the next tailor we're building will be focusing on all the armor. That's probably the best way to go at it. So that we um, make sure that we produce all the different things. There's another mysterious plant. You name a villager that. <laughs> it's Sven Blood X Colombo on it. <laughs> oh, who knows? We discovered a new plant unlike anything we've ever seen before. We went and showed it to the seer. And he said that he had not seen this plant for a long time. Should we add it to the healing mixtures or not? 
Option one is yes, option two is no. Who knows? I think we can still name villagers though, so maybe we should name a few villagers, that would be fun. Should we trust the seer or not? Hmm. I'm usually not one to trust seers, but um, I'm not judging here. <laughs> I guess the last plant worked out okay then. I don't, I don't know. I have no clue. Could well be that the person got sick for a very long time. so Or that it died. That's also possible. <laughs> I want to live forever. All right, we'll use it. I think we can see it in the messages, maybe. Maybe if we see somebody dying straight away, then it had the opposite effect. But uh, so far, it seems to be good, so no worries. Um, now, it's very tempting to build a blacksmith, but we need coal and iron to actually have a working blacksmith, and we don't have the stuff it needs, so that ain't gonna work. So we're not gonna build a blacksmith yet. And we don't need this many builders. We could go for a mine, though. Start working on getting some of the resources that we need for the actual blacksmith at some point. I think we're actually gonna do that. Let's build a mine here. And let's build a mine up here too, I guess. So that we have the two mines that we need with resources. Might be a bit too far away from town though. So it could be that we just have to build a secondary town somewhere here. So that these two mines can be worked with people. Alright, this is up now too. Let's put out all of this. And this will focus on armor and light armor. We will put two smart people in here again. If the seer was right, then we should trust him, I guess. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, I thought Donnie was a healing potion tester, but there's just a lot of crap on the market. All right, so we have enough people in here, all of these buildings. That's all good. Yeah, it only streamed earlier. It was fun. All right, let's get a lot of trees in again. This map is very rich in trees, I have to say. That's really nice. You can really get all the food that you want, all the logs that you want and stuff. That's really great. Oh, this one isn't working that good now that we've chopped all the trees. Maybe we should stop with that. Let's deselect these, I guess. Oh, those are rocks. Oh, that's fine. We can get those rocks. They're building the mine here. Now, I'm thinking we should get rid of the trees here, too. And then make sure that we start building a secondary town here. In order to do so... Let's build a wood storage here. Right now. Just right there. And a stone storage. So that they can store the goods that they chop and stuff right here. And then we might be able to build a few houses here too. Let's get a road up like this. And let's build a house here. So that more and more people can start to live right here next to the... Uh, Fix the road to this one. Come on, not do the road sideways. That's stupid. There it is. All right, there we go. My kill to death ratio was the right way round for one. <laughs> oh, wow, that's good. That wasn't when I was around, so that's really nice. Well, he is getting better. I have seen that. All right, we have a few homeless people, so that extra house will actually work out well. We just need a lot more housing here. There's still logs laying around, though, so we can't build those houses, I guess. Oh, yeah, we can. Oh, very good. Let's just build a few extra houses here. Basically build a new village here, so that we can have people that work in the mines and stuff. That would actually be really good. And if we ever get attacked, we might be safe up here. 
with this little part. But who knows, who knows. Um, I guess we need to start storing food here then. So let's build a market here too. Let's get this road around. There we go. Well, I guess this is quite the building project, but they're already storing wood here. So that might work. And winter is coming. A harsh winter is coming. Harvest your fields, prepare the clothes, and last till the summer. Okay, we'll last till the summer. I've seen people die more than Donny. Oh, wow. Black that springs to mind. It was closer, but still more dead. Yeah, but those all died once. And Donny possesses the power to die multiple times, so... Well, I believe today he played as the Germans. Maybe that had something to do with it. But um, I guess we're out of wool already. Are we out of wool? I think so. Yeah. So we do need to get more wool. Might need to up the production in here. Is there anything else they can produce that doesn't require wool? Only winter clothing. All right. So I guess we should set this one on winter clothing too then. So that they can at least produce that too. And prepare for that. We don't need the heavy armor yet. So let's get that one off. And then we will just produce light armor and winter clothing there too. That should work. In multiple ways too. Oh yeah, that's true. I bet I could give Donny a run for his money. Well, I already suggested to Roadhog that maybe we should get the game too. To help out uh, Donny a bit when he's gaming. But... Um, it's not really our type of gaming, so we're not going to do that. <laughs> ah, they're going to build the house here. Since we have a lot of laborers, we can just up the number of builders for a bit so that we can get all of this part done. Now, winter is coming, which is interesting. Um, I think... Yeah, they're now making some room here. We could start a few farm fields now. We won't be using them straight away. But we can at least set them up and then when the time is right, uh, aka the spring, we can start to use them. Now, I think this field will be quite costly though to build. But um, alright, here we go. That's one field, 83 silver, that's a lot. Well, let's select some wheat. Let's plant it. I don't think they can plant it now in the winter. Yeah, it will die straight away. So that ain't going to happen. But next year we can plant some. That will be nice. And there should be ways to unlock automatic planting and stuff like that. Like automated field harvest feature will be unlocked. And the automated plant feature. We we'll do need four of those uh, fame points. But uh, we can get those. Yeah, the snow effects is really cool too. This is, this is just an amazing game, I have to say that. It's, uh, it's very nice. Alright, we have one of the farm fields. Now we also need a well to go with it to, to supply all the fields with water. I think I'm going to build a well here so we can build another field up here, field here, field here at some point. That's good. Uh, we do need to save a bit of coins now though before we can build another field. And we could also be setting up the infrastructure for something else. Like brewery. We need barley, but then we can start to produce some beer. Nah, we need a mill, a mill first and get baking some bread. But, um, well, we're doing a lot of building right now. Production, the windmill. Bread is made from weed. Okay, well... Let's get this windmill here. There we go. I wonder how the whole village is taking shape here. Well, we have a house here now. That's the first. This mine is available now. And since we have so many people, we can just put people in here for a bit so that they can start mining goods for the uh, blacksmith. Uh, we're really going to need the blacksmith at some point for our weapons and stuff. So... Getting these goods in... No, beer! <laughs> we'll have some bread first and then the beer will come later. I'll make sure of that. Don't worry. 
Right, let's get a few builders out to get a few extra laborers. No, we don't actually. We need to start finishing all these buildings first. There's a family living here with a kid already. Have to be the right people though that work in, in the buildings that we're constructing, but... Uh, She can have it off for good starting Tuesday night. Ooh, that's good. That's good. She'll be very happy having the cone off indefinitely. That will be one happy goal. Blizzard! Uh-oh, this winter will be tough for us. A blizzard is approaching. Villagers will work 20% slower for full days. Well, I didn't really see them working very hard lately, so I don't think it'll change anything, but we'll find out. That mine is ready. This one still has a way to go. But we'll find out. Let's get some extra stones where we can. We have some stones left, but um, could be using some more. We have 150, but uh, we need a lot more if we want to get all the buildings done in the future too. 97 people, almost up to 100. So we quadrupled our number of people that's great and we have a new family arriving i'm not gonna ask they can join i want them in they can straight go to one of the new houses because we had an m we had a house with an opening but i'm not sure i think it already got occupied let's see if this house gets occupied now too with the new family yeah they already found a house so that's good they don't need to be bothered with that again. They're building the windmill now. Still plenty of food. We have hopefully a bit of wool now. Six wool. Okay. And a few hides. A few leather. You should all be producing leather and stuff. So that is interesting. Um, I'm actually thinking we should get secondary pastures. And once they're all filled up, if we have two goat pastures and they're both filled up, we can get a lot more stuff out of that. So that might be a thing to aim for. We have the six houses now here, though. We could also prioritize this a bit. Make sure that the marketplace gets done so these can get their food there and don't have to go all the way somewhere else to get their food. Hold on, Papas. What happened to I ask chat? Let them decide. <laughs> That'll be for the big decisions now. I also want to keep the speed in it a bit because sometimes it can take quite a bit of time, of course, before we get to a point that everybody has answered. So uh, I'll do these myself because it's also better for gameplay and game speed if we just add those villagers to the village all the time. But all the big decisions will be up to all of you, of course, as you hopefully have noticed so far. <laughs> but of course you can always initiate a vote on whether I should keep you all in the loop on whether we should get extra people in or not I'm always open to a good vote <laughs> and we have another mysterious plant now this is a very big decision I would not dare take on my own so um, should we give it to the seer to help in the mixture or should we say no 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 we don't trust this plant we don't like foreign plants let's see what chat come up so it comes up with Option two. Option one. Well, Chad is divided in this game today. That's interesting. So sometimes we have a very, very chat that's in agreement. But no, no, not so much. The majority now leans towards option two. We don't want anything to do with foreign plants. All right. Well, that's what we're going to do then. I'm not going to wait too long. There's our hunter. Are the people... Yeah, we need an extra hunter. Not going to put anybody in the Miller office yet. 
because we don't need that. We don't have any grain yet, so why get bothered with putting somebody in the mill? We do have four farmers though, but they'll be doing labor jobs, so that's fine. Here I have also option two. Welcome back, by the way. Then I pick the right option with option two. And two in here. Let's go gather some extra food. And did they clear this out? Yes, they cleared this out. Perfect. Let's get another goat ranch. To provide us with the extra goats. That's one. Alright, let's see if we can do the same with another cattle ranch. The more we have, the better. Yep, perfect. Let's go. Let's speed up again. Might be that this mine is almost ready now too. Oh, just five more stone. There it comes. And then they should start to build this. Yep, there's immediately two active builders out of the two. And we can see by this progress bar that this goes rather fast. And we already have 12 iron in, so that worked. We now just need all the coal to be extracted. And from there on... We could then be able to... Uh, get the um, blacksmith going. Now we need strong people to work here. Preferably those that don't live too far away. We can see by the red numbers that they basically live quite a bit too far away. But that's all fine. Here we go. Four workers in there. Let's get me some coal. We're getting silver here for this market now too. And um, yeah, I'm happy with it. Let's keep it up to bring the resources. Oh, they're building this already. Wow, that's fast. They're really fast every now and then. We have some wool left, but we're out of leather. I guess the um, hunter also brings in leather, yes. So we could also try to get another hunter somewhere. That might do the trick. We have way too many builders now, by the way, for the amount of stuff that we're building. All right, let's put in two workers. A strong one and a fast one. Ooh, a justice dilemma. Well, chat, here you go. Option one or option two. Knowing that he is not like everyone else, ugly butter is being beaten by the village bullies while talking crazily in the village square. The duty of these tyrants is to protect the rights and dignity of every citizen, but the public is divided on what to do with the crazy villager. Most of the villagers, fed up with how he is behaving, want this man to be exiled, while others want the bullies to be suppressed so that they can no longer bully anyone. Alright, it is about this guy, Ugly Butter. He is apparently... Oh well, he is lucky. No, not so lucky, but um, we'll see. We can either exile him, his family won't be happy and some of the villagers will be unhappy with this. Or we can make him pay for the loss and he becomes disabled, which is unfortunate for him. But well, that's what it is. Hey, Richie Rich, nice of you to join us. How are you? Well, chat's in agreement now. It's going to be option two. As we put all the workers in here, that's good. Now... This one is almost filled up. As soon as we start to have more cows than can actually fit in this one, they will automatically be moved here. And once we have cows here, they will start to reproduce as well. Same for the goats. So it is very good that we have these now. So that we uh, can hopefully get the excess animals in there. And then start to really produce some wool and leather. Now, of course, right now there are no animals in there, but uh, I'm good. Forgot about the stream. Oh, no worries, man. No worries. Just happy to see you now and happy to hear all is good. I'll go back and watch all of it later. No problem. No problem. Enjoy it then. Nope, it's fun. So far, this is what we have. We have started a little town here on the uh, mountain map. I don't know if you played this game, but there are the big mountains in the background. It's almost like a scene from... Uh, Lord of the Rings or something like that. And uh, well, so far we are at 115 people, which is nice. We've built a firm far first farm during the winter that we're going to use soon. And hopefully now with these extra pastures, we can get some extra leather and wool from those animals. We've also started a second part of town right here where a mine is. And there's a mine up here too to work on that. So um, 
yeah. The village is progressing. Another thing we need, though, is another hunter. So uh, let's build another hunter somewhere here. Uh, one right there. And maybe a gatherer too. Why not? Just to get some extra herbs. If we can get the productivity to be okay, of course. 50, 100. Okay, there's a 100 productivity here, but we can't build it because there's a tree in the way. Oh, this is a 100. Perfect. All right, we can put extra people in there soon. 10 likes. Thank you all so much. That's amazing. <laughs> they will be moved. Yeah, the cows will be moved. But we have to wait a bit for that. That's for the goats. There we have three goats. So we got three goats born here and they moved there straight away. Perfect. Maybe we should do that with the chickens too, but... Yeah, we have plenty of people, so why not? Let's build an extra chicken coo too. It also ensures, of course, the supply of food everywhere, so... This is very good. Uh, winter is slowly coming to an end, so soon enough we should be getting into farming. And I was not expecting it, but just this one stream so far, it's been almost two hours... We speeded our way through the uh, research tree and just three extra points and we can get to military already. It's uh, It's been interesting. I wasn't expecting it to go that fast actually. We don't even have that big of a town but um, apparently if you try to do it uh, this way then we can get to a point where we have a lot of people and hopefully soon a lot of military. Alright, we have seven miners. We need eight. Two shipbuilders, but that's fine. Let's get another warehouse worker. Let's get an extra marketeer, since we can. And are these buildings ready? No, these are down there. We have to check here. Alright. Just some stuff for this and some stuff for this. So they are busy building the hunter and the gatherer, so that's good. So what are you going to do this week, Richie Rich? So Herodev, will you get back to a lot of canning and stuff like that now that you are... Uh, or now that um, Poppy is almost out of the woods and you can just go on with everything? Or do you have other plans for this week? Devs did speed up the game. It doesn't feel as slow anymore. Yeah, it is. It is. But I think they changed this a bit because I believe last time you had normal speed, speed 2, speed 4 and then speed 8. And now it's speed 8 and speed 12. I think I think they made a difference there. But I'm not 100% sure. And they did a few changes. So um, child birth rate went up a little bit. And uh, ah, I, think, I think they did a few changes in balancing. Yeah and it really works good now. My wife has been away for two weeks, so we'll be get back to normal this week. Ah, nice. We had Lon Chani, man of a thousand faces. Now meet Petmos, man of a thousand animal voices. Eee, that's a funny one. <laughs> oh boy. I should not be doing this. There goes my last bit of dignity. But, um, all right, nice. So, um, where did your wifey go then? Like on a fun holiday or work or... That was, yes, I have a lot to can and lots of fish to process and stuff. Well, sounds like you have a lot of fish to fry. So that's nice. At least you know what you'll be doing this week. Lots of preserving food, which is great. And will there be a lot of fishing this week too? We should get some weed into the ground. So let's plant it. There we go. Planting. We have set four farmers, I believe. Yep. Yeah. So there could be four people in there working. They are perfect. That's good. We're getting finally some coinage again. That's good. Mexico. She inherited her mom's home. And there are always things to take care of. All right. Sounds good. So is that like now a second home? For you too, or 
How does that work? Oh, this is somebody without a house. That's interesting. Guess we need to get that person a house at some point. At least we'll have two extra gatherers now. But appears we have some homeless people. Now, this is nice, but I don't want too many people living up there because this is still the main village. So I think we should um, build one more row of houses right here next to this, like this. But not too much because I want to save some space here for some defense works and stuff because I think that'll be cool too. And usually I just build too much stuff and don't keep space for any defense works. So I would like to have some room here for walls and stuff and still have a little bit of a bit of beach that the enemy can storm and things like that. It's just a little condo, but it's sentimental for wifey. Alright, well. Ah, thanks. The village is looking nice. Well, I guess even though it is uh, just a little condo, it can be nice to have a uh, vacation address and go to it and stuff. And then you don't have to pay for all those other stuff. You can just go get into that house. <laughs> Tacos rule. <laughs> Spring is coming. Got it. We have another mysterious plant. Should we use it or not? Hmm. Well, it's up to Chad, of course. I mean, with Kevin complaining about me taking decisions on my own, I don't dare to do any anymore. So please tell me what to do. Option one, let's use the plant. Or option two, let's don't. Where are you? He's behind his computer or tablet or phone watching this stream. All right, let's see. Makes travel much less expensive. Yeah, I guess you only have to pay for the trip then, but not for the staying and stuff. So that's really nice. Option two, option one, option two. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see what everybody else has to say. We can use the plant, but it can have some side effects or we just don't use it and don't do anything with it. Who knows? Who knows? 212. I can only wait for so long because I have to keep the game running, of course. So let's find out. Maybe everybody's already typing in chat, but it's just not arriving at my screen. That could also be the thing, but I'm not going to wait any longer, so it will be option two. There we go. You already have some armor, by the way, so that did work out. And uh, that could be good. So we could be training up some soldiers as soon as we unlock that. I'm a big fan of that. I have to say, though, we only have... Seven people available to us now. So apparently... The big numbers of laborers that we had are now down to only a handful. So we'll have to make good use of them. Oh, this looks like a good area now. I like it in the spring because all becomes really nice and green and cool colored. All right, let's build something of a road. Uh, maybe a bit like this. We should make it a little bit funny. But I wanted to save this space for a field, so that's why I'm doing it like this. But let's just get the road up here. So that they can use it to go to this village quickly. That'll be nice. Do we have chat delay on? It should not be on, but it could be that um, apparently it's turned on again. I'll check for a second, but it should not be on. Oh, it's on normal delay and it should be on short delay. Ah, something went wrong there because it was on short delay last few times. I'll check that for last time because I can't change it uh, during the stream. Uh, but yeah, I have to put that back on, on the short delay, because uh, otherwise it just takes a long time every time I want to uh, ask something and I have to wait for the answer. Good suggestion, Kevin, because I've turned that back to short um, delay not so long ago. So I guess something went wrong there. I'll have to think of that next time. But that's big help that you pointed that out. Florida. Well, that's where Thomas lives too. Oh, I haven't seen Thomas this evening. 
But uh, that's nice. You can say hi to him. <laughs> Let's cut a few extra trees since we don't have enough logs yet. Only 73. Well, we have some cows here now. We have goats here. We have... Oh, a lot of chickens extra. We're still down to only 340 food. I don't see that number increasing big time, but this one's filled up. That might have something to do with it. And this one is not so filled up. But that's fine. And I guess we're getting a bit less food. Because now all excess animals from Deeds 2 won't be slaughtered. They will be brought to the other pen. That might be having something to do with that. Could well be that as soon as these are, these are both full. That this number will start to run up again. That's probably why it's not running up so much. Alright, the farm field's growing. That's good. So soon enough we should need somebody in the um, windmill. But now we have... There it is, Kevin. Our grave filled with silver was found. While digging for construction, the villagers noticed that something hit their shovel. When they looked carefully, they realized it was a grave full of silver. It would be best to leave this dead as it is, so as not to incur the wrath of the gods. Alright, should we? Option 1. Don't touch the grave and cancel construction. So a construction that we have will be completely cancelled. We don't touch the grave but keep building. And then we just hope we don't get the wrath of the gods. Or we take all the silver in the grave and continue construction. And it's not suggesting that we could feel the wrath of the gods. We will feel it. So that's the most um, daring option, I guess. One, two or three. It seems all my animals have their issues on a Friday night. So <laughs> That's always the thing. Also with kids and stuff. They always have something when the doctor is not in his office. And you have to go to a very expensive one. Option 2. Option 2. Donny is living dangerously. So he wants option 3 of course. Yeah. 2 sounds good. Yeah. Get some extra silver. No. We don't, we're not going to get an extra silver. But at least we're going to build. Option 2. Do we see some poltergeist? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? We'll have to find out. Could well get another earthquake or something uh, because we pissed them off, but we'll see. Ah, all right. We're still building homes. That's good. Let's get more people in. We have 123 now. That works. I'm just going to... No. I'm just going to put somebody in the windmill just in case... This field's ready, which should not take too long anymore. Then they can uh, really start to uh, bake me some bread in there, which is interesting. They'll bake bread in a windmill. But hey, it's good. Extra house is ready. All resources seem to be okay, although we're lacking a little bit in stone. However, we have plenty of stuff now to get a blacksmith. And I really want to get a blacksmith. So let's go with one blacksmith for now. And start producing a little bit of weaponry and stuff. Hey, wifey, welcome back. Nice of you to join us again. Did you go, like, for a walk or something? We have another justice dilemma. Knowing that he is not like everyone else. Ugly butter. Oh, that's the same guy. He is already crippled. And now they're beating him up again. Is beaten by the village bullies. Alright, I'll show the options first so you can already pick. We can exile him. That will make him unhappy and his family unhappy. And he would leave, of course. And some of the villagers will be unhappy. Or we could pay for the loss. We pay 25 silver and he becomes disabled. I thought he already was disabled. But apparently that doesn't really work. But uh, okay. So the duties of these tyrants is to protect the rights and dignity of every citizen. But the public is divided on what to do. Well, that's interesting. I already see something appearing in chat. Like um, option two. Exile the bullish. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. So that's a problem. We should have the option to put the bullies uh, onto the warship and send them out on a warring quest or something like that. Because they would kind of make good soldiers. Alright, we'll go over option two then.
Yeah, so we were all confused earlier on Wifey because Richie was telling that Wifey was away for two weeks and she was coming home again, but then he clarified that he was talking about his Wifey. <laughs> Pouring paint. Oh, that would be nice. Why would we exile the victim? Uh, well, he's the one that's standing in the in the city square screaming crazily. So I guess that could be a reason to get him out of the village. That's the whole point. We have those village bullies because they have to make sure that he behaves. But he doesn't. All right, we need extra herdsmen. We don't need an extra farmer. We're down to only six laborers. We need seven. Alright, so they should be working the farm field soon enough, but we have to tell them to harvest. We can't do that automatically yet. Let's see, the tailor is ready. We now just need the blacksmith. We have six, five points. I believe we need six for the... Uh, yeah, we need six for the training camp and the hero house. We could really use the automated function, though, for the fields. Should I get the automated function for the fields first? Or should I go for the uh, soldiers first? That's up to chat. Now I was gathering courage to start chatting again. Oh, that's fine. Wifey number one and wifey number two. <laughs> yeah, but which one is which one? Eh? It's not as simple as just dumping the paint on the canvas. Well, I've seen quite a few artworks. Sometimes it's even more simpler than that. They don't even take the effort into trying to make something out of it. But hey, okay. All right, we can see what we can produce right here. We can produce iron tools. We can produce um, weapons and we can produce shields. For light soldiers, we only need shields. For archers, we also need weapons. We don't need iron tools right now. Uh, so I'm going to put that off. We're just going to produce some weapons and some shields. And by doing so, we'll be ready for the soldiers when we get them. In other words, Potmos the villagers unwillingly spent money treating mental health problems. Just kicked them out. Yeah, that's something like that. They have to spend time addressing somebody's, somebody's mental health by... Uh, Kicking his brains out. So why not just kick the guy out and save them the time. So they can actually do some decent work. I'm all for it. Need an extra hunter. So are they now... Oh, we have to plant again. Alright, let's plant again. I could really use the automated function. Because then we don't have to do anything about the farm anymore. They will do that all automatically. Ah, we're all talking about f painting now. Interesting. Guess that gives me permission to just focus on the game. <laughs> Alright, let's go get another field if we can. I think we can. Fence is too long. I did not even make the fence yet. The angle is wrong. There's nothing wrong with my angle. Let's get some barley too. Let's plant it. Problem is we need to store both of these things. So let's build a uh, wheat granary. And a barley granary. So that at least we can keep the goods. And with the barley comes something that people will like a lot. A brewery. Let's get brewing some beer. For the village. We need it to go on expeditions too. So that might be helpful. Automated harvest sounds good. Yeah, I think so. It, it will really help out um, for the village. I'm going to explore this one and this one. This is automatic harvest and automatic um, planting. And it will also increase the durability of crops. And the fields will grow faster. 
I'm not going to get into these two because I don't really uh, need these. But now we can put this on and they will keep growing weed. And on this one they will keep growing and harvesting barley all the time. And we don't have to uh, click that again, which is a big help. So let's just go for that. And now we can save points for going towards our military. Alright, we have a villagers without a house. Which is usually not good. So let's get a few extra houses going. Three houses. We can build a road in between here. We can build a road in between here. And these roads should eventually lead towards the uh, fishery and the... Uh, shipyard. We might need to repair a few ships, by the way. No, not yet. Oh, that's good. That's good. We don't need to f repair any boats yet. Oh, they're all in pretty bad condition, though. As long as one gets back, we could be able to repair it. Yep, yeah, we can repair a fishing boat. Let's repair it. Can't do automated repairs yet, but later on we can. Let there be beer. Yeah, that's something to go for. So, um, well, we have the uh, wheat granary and soon the barley granary. And from there on, we can get to the brewery. <laughs> Alright, how does this part of the village look? Well, it looks pretty okay. They have some nice food stored here and other goods. Food's finally going up a bit more. Which probably means, yeah, we have plenty of goats in here already. We could use a few extra cattle, but the goats are good. And that could also mean, yeah, we have 64 wool now. So we make good amounts of wool. I like that. We have 9 light armor now. Two weaponry stuff. No shields yet because we don't have enough leather yet. Would be good if we could also get a few shields going. We are out of stone now though. That is a big issue. Alright, where can we find a few pieces of regular stone that are left? Oh, right here. Good. Let's get that into, uh, into the village. And then maybe we should just go for the... Uh, oh, here's another stone mine place thingy. Get a stone pit. Yeah, let's get a stone pit right here. That's the right thing to do. That'll solve a lot of issues. Getting a big stone pit. I admit I've been distracted. Is there any trade happening? No, not yet. We have not gotten to that point in the tree. So the right side of the tree will take us into uh, warriors and warships and stuff. The left side will get us into trading. Toss a coin to your trader. This time to get into trading and we can build trade ships and stuff. Um, and if we go up, it will work on getting better housing and stuff for the village. So basically the tree really splits in different ways that we can go. So um, that's really interesting. Um, we're not going to go for trade soon enough though. I want to get to warring first. But uh, we'll get to that. Little one couldn't find her rest this evening. So at 8pm I let her lay against me. She was out in 4 minutes. So oh, that's good. That's good. I guess that was a good solution. I guess uh, it might have to do something with uh, Sinterklaas. And her putting up her shoe expecting a present tomorrow. Um, but also the weekend was a bit busy maybe. I don't know. We'll find out. I'll uh, I'll make sure she'll rest good when we get home uh, after her time at school tomorrow. That should be good. Alright, they're bringing in the goods here. But we really need the stone to actually build these houses. And, uh, well, we do have enough laborers to, to get the houses done. I think they're now really busy here. Yeah, all those laborers are now busy getting stone here, which is good. So they should now be... Yeah, we have 90 stone all of a sudden. So they should have enough now to build these houses. We'll just have to wait a bit. Ha, <laughs> 
Yeah, usually I'm the solution for both of them. But uh, when I'm working here, I can't be the solution because I'm working. Right, the blacksmith can't work. Oh, that's because of the uh, leather. We need some extra leather in there. Then they can start working again. That would be good. I think it could also help to build another road here. So that they can take a little shortcut here. When going all the way up. That could be good. Oh wow, look at this nice stone floor underneath here. I really paid attention. Oh, another earthquake. Hero Dev, stop shaking my screen. I'm going to buy now. I have more chores to do before wifey comes home. All right, well, good luck with the chores. Thanks for showing up. Say hi to your wifey. And we'll see you next time. All right, let's repair all these homes. Come on, stop shaking. And that's it. Were this all the houses? Well, we still have a, a village up there. Earthquake. Sacrifice six animals to the gods. The villagers will be happy. We get a blessing and villagers will work a bit slower or do nothing. The other two we can't do because we don't have the silver and we don't have met any other villages. So option one or option four. It is up to chat. Gods are angry. So they didn't get their cows. Yeah, that's true. Are you Vikings in California, lol? <laughs> oh, could be the case. Well, I guess it's time to sacrifice the animals this time. Because uh, that might appease the gods a bit. But uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Option 4, option 1, option 4... Alright, let's see what Hero Dev and Wifey have to say. You know how I feel about the animals. Yeah, I know you don't care about the human lives in this game. It's just all about the animals. So probably option four. <laughs> oh, it's fine. It's fine. We'll deal with it. I guess it's going to be four then, since I know what you want. So we'll do nothing. We won't be appeasing... Uh, I'll get your leather, yeah, that's true. And then the gods can take that away probably some way. But um, let's get a few extra builders so that these houses get done quickly. Then we'll have to get everything fixed up again. We do have enough wood and we have enough stone usually to fix the houses. But yeah, there's another house destroyed here too. So let's repair that as well. Oh boy. That didn't go so well. And we still have to finish this in some point. To actually get mining some stone. Until then. We just need to hope that we can do everything. 20 stone. 20 stone. Yeah I don't think we have enough stone to actually rebuild all the houses. However we can start to produce some beer now. Let's get some beer production up. Now they also need a well. Which is all the way up here. So we could go with another well down here. Oh, it's too close. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, we can build it here. Then they don't have to walk that far. So let's build a well there. That'll be good. And yes, I am a meat eater. We aren't going to get into that. <laughs> we do have the slaughtering. You just don't want to do the slaughtering, but you want to eat it. Okay, interesting. She was Indian, I could understand the cow thing. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> All right, first house done. Oh, now we also get newcomers. Good, they can join. Come on, join the village. That's fine. We'll just build you a few extra houses. But first we're going to finish these. I believe we had to go up to 160 villagers for the mission. Hmm, 22 to go. That's not bad. That's not bad. Alright, this one is being built now. This still needs stone. This is getting close. This one still needs a bit of stone. Let's get two extra builders. 
Come on, bring all the goods in. We need to finish these houses because there's way too many people running around without a house. That is not good. Alright, this one's being built. This one's being built. Oh boy. I think we need an extra house anyway for the extra family that came in. Do the people get to keep the meat and heights when they sacrifice? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so, but uh, probably not. Would be a bit weird if they actually got to keep it, but you never know. All depends on how the game's coded, but as far as I know, they don't. Let's get six farmers now, by the way, since we have two farms they have to attend to. We have some barley, though. That's good. And we have some grain as well, I think. Yes. We're baking bread now, up to 450 food. And we have the first beer. How nice is that? 12 first beers for Roadhog, second ones for Kevin. From there on, we'll see who else wants it can get it. So you just need to build, rebuild one house here and build the extra house. That will be something. The gods are out for blood. <laughs> yeah. Usually they tell the people to go out and... and, and get some blood somewhere at least that's how the people interpret it but um yeah so far the gods aren't really nice to us yeah don't we have five beers so you can have one too enjoy it <laughs> maybe having a few beers will improve your aim <laughs> Now we have more fishing boats that need to be repaired. So let's repair another fishing boat. There we go. Repair. Now one of the tedious things is that we have to replace the fishing boats that you um, repaired. So that's the thing. It doesn't return automatically, which is uh, pretty annoying. All right. Fishermen are not happy with the newcomers. Some of the locals are offended by the new arrivals and complain to you. They say that the fish escaped because the newcomers washed all their belongings in the sea. Fishermen complain about not being able to catch fish for this reason. Newcomers say there's nothing else they can do. Fishermen, they're constantly washing clothes in the sea. We can't fish. Not only are we losing money because of them, we won't even have enough fish to eat if it goes on like this. And the strangers say, we don't have a lot of stuff, that's why we have to use the sea to stay clean. The fishermen should be patient, and they will be unhappy with this situation. Use the water well, and other bad things might happen, like everybody getting sick or something like that. Or forbid washing clothes in the sea, and the newcomers will be permanently unhappy. And I'm quite scared about the word permanently. Um, so yeah, option two could be interesting. I already see two votes for option two, but uh, well, all is open. It's up to you. Man, it is super stormy. Every time I look out the window, the wind is blowing the rain and trees and loose items all over. All right. Well, hope the house stays safe. Option two, option two, option two. Well, we'll go for option two then. They can use the water well and we'll see what comes from it. Hopefully nothing really bad. Apparently we are out of homeless people or they are out somewhere else. Um, but I don't see any homeless people icons anymore. So apparently all of a sudden they fit in less housing that we had before. Which is interesting. I like it though. But uh, that could be interesting. We have three tree of life points again. So three more to go. But we're getting close to a stream for two and a half hours, which has been very nice and it has been a lot of fun. But it's also time now to put this one to an end. So I want to thank you all for the great fun and laughter, for the very nice chats and for the nice interaction also about the game. I wish you all the best this week, whether you have a few meetings to attend to or you're going to do some canning of food and preparing fish and stuff like that or when you're just working and bringing your mother-in-law to the uh, to the hospital. I hope you all have a good week. Everything uh, pans out and runs as you want to. I hope Poppy will be really happy when the cone comes off Tuesday. And um, I hope that uh, soon enough I will see you all again for another fun stream. Until then, every day I'm not streaming. There will be a new upload. So enjoy yourself with that, I hope. 
And then I hope to see you all next time. Thank you all so much. You're all the best. I consider you all my friends. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.